from Mountain View, California, it's The Cube, covering the 15th Annual Grow Awards. Brought to you by ACGSV. Lisa Martin with The Cube on the ground at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California for the 15th Annual Grow Awards for the Association of Corporate Growth in Silicon Valley, ACGSV, that's a mouthful. I'm here with one of the ACGSV board members, Zach Matru, the District Sales Manager at Insperity. Hey Zach, it's great to have you on The Cube. Thank you so much, Lisa, I'm pleased so to be here. So before we talk about what you're doing here at the 15th Annual Grow Awards, tell our audience about Insperity. I was reading, I love taglines. Yes. And I see on your homepage, um, Insperity is obsessed with delivering HR mastery. Wow, oh, yeah. obsessed and mastery, those two words just jumped out. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Impressive, isn't it? Well, we actually just adjusted our tagline to HR that makes a difference. Uh, and that's really what it's all about. You know, we feel like companies that are growing, uh, if they're going to make it from good to the best, it has everything to do with the people. Uh, attracting the best people and keeping them, developing them over time, and that's exactly what we do with our clients. So Insperity has been in business since 1986, and if I think of the today's modern workforce, highly mobile, distributed, there's the whole on-demand industry. You guys have seen a tremendous amount of change that now can be massively influenced and your customers can mm -hmm. using technology. Give me a little bit of the historical perspective on Insperity's inception mm -hmm. and today's workforce and how you're helping them oh, attract absolutely. and retain the best talent. Oh, absolutely. Well, when the company started, you know, it was in a maybe 200 square foot room with one telephone between the two co-founders. There's no such thing as email, so absolutely. There's been immense technological changes and there continues to be. I think that's one of the things that has been responsible for Insperity's success is its adoption of technology. And today we are as much uh, a technology company as we are you know, an employee benefits company or an HR consulting company. It's really about uh, creating a positive experience for the employees. That's part of being a competitive employer. Well, it has to be a positive experience, right, for your customers because acquiring great talent is one thing, retaining them is another. And I want to I want to kind of uh, pivot off the retention there for yeah. a second. As the district sales manager was asking you before we went live, tell me, you know, maybe one of your favorite stories. And you said, wow, one of the great things, you guys are coming up great growth in FY18, mm -hmm. revenue growth. One of the great things that Insperity has been really successful at is customer retention, and that's hard. Mm -hmm. You're proud of this. Tell us about that statistic that you mentioned and how sure. it is that Insperity is evolving and innovating mm -hmm. over the last few decades Absolutely. to keep that retention number as phenomenal as it is. Mm -hmm. Well, Insperity has been named one of the most admired corporations in the country, uh, actually five years in a row by Fortune Magazine, and that's the kind of press that you can't buy. Um, one of the accolades that I'm most proud of is that in the past year, our own employees named us one of the top 100 companies to work for in the United States, uh, which uh, is, I think, the proof that we really know what we're doing with our clients because there are a lot of uh, different companies out there, various competitors, uh, and almost none of them are on that list. So uh, it's living our values and expressing you know, through our service team, our extraordinary service team, um, that I think keeps our clients coming back to us year after year, about 85% renew. That's been consistent high level of client retention for the past three years. Um, even more extraordinary is that we've been growing both top line and bottom line revenue at the same time. So there's just a testament to our leadership, to our co-founder and CEO, Paul Servati, and to the rest like of the team. But it sounds like there's a lot of symbiotic relationships between the internal retention at Insperity that is, is maybe leading through to your customers seeing, hey, it's not, there's not a high turnover here. These people are, are doing, they love what they're doing. They're working for a, a good mm -hmm. company. So there's probably a lot of symbiotic Well, that's exactly behaviors. right. I think you really hit the nail on the head. It's, it's about culture. You know, it's a culture that starts from the top with leadership and it filters down throughout the organization and we're not looking to do business with every single company. We're looking to do business with the companies that believe the things that we believe. That is, companies that have high levels of commitment, trust, communication, 
they do better financially than companies that don't have those things. And along those lines, mentioning just before we wrap here, we are at the 15th annual ACGSV Awards tonight mm -hmm. where they're honoring two award winners. The Outstanding Growth Award winner is Arista Networks, mm -hmm. and the Emerging Growth winner is Adesto Technologies. Um, excited to talk to them later, but I wanted to get a little bit of perspective on, you've been involved as a board member of ACSG since last year. Tell me a little bit about what makes ACGSV worthy of your time. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's a great question. It's just an extraordinary community, I think. Uh, the top leaders in Silicon Valley come together, the monthly keynotes um, add a lot of value. It's an intimate setting, and there's real conversations that are taking place on topics that are relevant to today's professionals. So, you know, for me to be able to engage and hopefully add some value, you know, as a board member is a privilege. And you can hear probably a lot of those conversations going on right behind Zach That's and right. me tonight. Zach, it's been a pleasure to have you on theCUBE. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. All right, thank you, Lisa. For theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin on the ground. Thanks for watching.